Right, so this is my heavy duty um, quick change tool post um, base finished with the quick change tool post on top. And I've actually made this one because I don't often actually use the compound slide. Um, the only time I actually use it is for threading or um, doing angles. I never really use the compound slide for getting a um, critical depth. I actually use slips in between the um, stop here or I use my carriage clock. And because the Myford lathes are such a brilliant design with these T-slots on the cross slide, it's really quick and easy to actually change over from a tool post like this to the um, compound slide. So whenever I need the compound slide for angles or whatever, I can just quickly take this one off and put that one on. And on this tool post I've included three extra 6mm threaded holes on the top here and this is for bolting accessories on. I may want to actually bolt a coolant pipe onto one of those or bolt one of my um, video cameras on a side stand for getting very close shots when I'm actually machining. And if you have a Myford lathe, you'll know that the T-slots on the cross slider for the 6mm um, T-nuts and you use the 8mm ones on the um, milling slide. Now if you want really low cost uh, ones of these T-nuts, then go on the Banggood site. Absolutely excellent um, quality T-nuts I've found. They're super hard and are brilliantly um, threaded and everything and they're an amazingly low price compared with what you can actually get in Britain or whatever. So I'll put a link below for the 6mm ones and the 8mm ones and it's worth actually going on the Banggood site and seeing how many you can actually get for such a low cost. Um, when I got the 6mm ones I found that they didn't actually fit in the um, cross slide T-slot and that's because the lower half of the T-nut is too thick. But don't let that put you off because you can actually machine them off very easily. And if you're new to machining, I'll just show you now how easy it is to actually do that. All that you need is a high tensile Allen bolt like this one. It's 6mm obviously and it's 60mm long so there's some... Um, a part here which is unthreaded which is good because the jaws hold on that and then I've screwed a self-locking nylock um, type nut on there down to a certain depth um, obviously so there's about five threads um, sticking out from the nut it's just enough really to go in that deep so it doesn't actually come through the other side obviously place that in the chuck jaws so that the nut goes up against the uh, front face of the um, jaws like that and tighten the chuck nicely and then screw the t-nut onto that one and you'll find a 13 millimeter spanner actually fits the side of the t-nut there so you can actually lock it onto the um, bolt and I'm using the SDJCR 1212 turning tool with a blue nano insert in it. This is one with the 08 radius, which is ideal for this type of work. And although these are hardened T-nuts, the blue nano insert copes with it perfectly. And mine's already set up on the stop, so I can actually um, machine down and when I finished uh, machining it will be exactly the right size to actually fit. And I only take light cuts, um, just guess the uh, depth of cut and I think it's about 375 rpm. Thank you. 
And that's all there is to it and I can just keep loading them up like that until I've done the whole batch. And that's just right. So one that hasn't been machined is about 227 thou and the machined one is now about 141 thou so it's really quick and easy to actually do a batch of these and you save loads of money actually buying these from Banggood